Hello, integrals and the fragiles. It's Donald. Welcome back to my kitchen. That sounds pretty horrible. On today's menu, I'll be serving you roasted dragonflies. Which does not sound appetizing. So instead, how about your mega break deck? One of the most hottest and powerful cards from an expansion. Why? Well, not only does it have great stats, great damage, two-shot potential, you can instantly set this card up. And it takes no energies to attack. That makes it one of the most ultra-fast cards in the game. So, of course, I'm going to explain that detail, and of course, how this deck works. And you're going to see it in three awesome matches. Well, at least for you, that is. So, let's get started. All right. Now, of course, let's start off with uh, Yan Mega, the regular Yan Mega. Why? Because it's a break card. It inherits properties from this thing. And this thing is not only a dragonfly, it's a robot. A transformer, of course. And, you know, like all robots, it runs on batteries. Yeah, so three of any batteries, any energies, you can use its assault boom, which base damage 50. Kind of sucks, but if they got a poker tool, I mean, there's one in every deck. You know that. So it does 120 damage, two shots, pretty much anything. So, oh, what about that poker power? Well, this robot, one of the latest models, can use solar energies. Yeah, from the sun. And it's only sunny when you have four cards in your hand. Oh, but if you do, if you make the deck in such a way that you can meet this condition, free attacks, which makes this dangerous. So, okay, and it's a grass Pokemon, which if you have the Stadium Forest of Giant Plants, you can evolve everything in a single turn, including, let's see, Yanma, Yan Mega, and the Yan Mega Break. 140 hit points. Tanky. It's not EX level, but that's still a lot. And it gets a new attack. Barrier Break, same cost, still benefits from the Pokemon power. 100 damage. Okay, that's a little step down, but it pierces everything. It will go past through any shield, maybe a annoying Pokemon power, maybe I'll say a Glaceon. Goes past, and pretty much, yeah, nothing can stop this. So, the attack isn't, it's more situational. But it does have a higher base damage than this. So if they're not holding a Pokemon tool, you would default to this attack. Yeah, and do okay, dead damage. So overall, you just need the right support to make this card powerful. And basically, you need items. You need plenty of items so you can just dump those cards if you have well, too many cards and shrink it to four hands at all times. And we're going to use supporters, judge. Sh everybody shuffles their cards and get four cards. So this easily meets the Sonic Vision requirement. Just play that card and you get a free attack. Guaranteed. Now, I'm using N. It shuffles, but it's based on my prize card. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of work to match the four cards condition. That's okay. And you see there's no Sycamore here. And if I needed more supporters, I would probably run Shauna. Something that gets me, well, close to four cards. So seven is kind of tough. Now, I'm running Octillery. Sushi Master, you're here. Why? Well, of course, you're here in every deck because you work really well with item decks. Items, you burn them, your hand shrinks, and you get up to five cards. And that means you just need to play one card, and you're good. And, you know, it's tough to set up a Flygon stage, too, so this is just much more efficient. Okay, and we're gonna try something crazy. Play ball. Three Pokeballs from your discard pile gets them all up. Hey, it, it, sound, it sounds good. Why not we give it a try? Because Pokeballs are pretty much like 50% Master Balls. But if they're heads, it's one heck of a deal. One heck of a deal. And not only that, I can pull this off seven times throughout the match. I... I 
I was gonna say, well, we'll just save it to the end of the video to how this actually goes, but you'll see it in action. So, saving that, that's all the Pokemon, that's the crew. So let's take a look a little bit more on the items. I need things that burn, or I can burn quickly through, so I can match the four hands, and just synergy with the with Sushi Master. So, I'm running Trainer Mails. Look at the next four cards, pick whatever trainer that's the most useful, and get it. It's more of a deck dinner, as well as the Acrobite. Next two cards, pick one, this card, the other. Four, four each, more deck dinners, and Pokeball. Good, you, I already talked about this, but it's it's amazing. One of his heads, of course, if his tails, ah, oh, that sucks. Well, that's more cards for Sushi Master. And I'm running Ultra Ball because it's like guaranteed Pokeball, of course. And, but you have to discard two cards, which can be good. With the right math, maybe that helps you get the four cards you need in your hand. And of course, it synchronizes with Sushi Master. And Revitalizer. Put any, any two grass Pokemons that are in the discard in your hand. So over time, of course, you're going to lose these things. But that means you can instantly, whatever cards you need in the evolution line, toss it straight down due to the stadium. So some of these is needed for the middle game and I'm running a single max potion I don't know what is the right number for, for now just one it makes things go smoothly and you know, you know you don't know when you actually need to use it maybe we'll make space for more and now you can definitely fine-tune that but hey if you got no energies there's nothing to lose from this it heals all damage discards all energies hey this thing attacks it with free energy so it's a great synergy and I'm using escape rope. Notice that the retreat cost is actually zero. So, no, these cards don't need it, but in case, ah, Sushi Master is out, cuz Lysander, or I need to force my opponent to retreat for some reason. And these things have been quite entertaining. So, instead of switches, we're gonna use these for retreat. Float stone. Yeah, you could use a float stone, but this is more fun for you to see. So, we're gonna use Verse Seekers. Just one, and you're like, oh, run four. Nah, you can't burn those as quickly as these. So, okay, now, I have, I've got Lysander, you know, I'm gonna set up faster than they will. So let's go ahead, take the offensive, and just grab whatever's vulnerable, and take it out. Okay, and I'm running some Assault Vest, because this is like, I don't know, all the good item poker tools are gone now. So this thing helps me stay alive, if there's a special energy card, 180 hit points onto my Pokemon. And that's EX level. So, okay. Wait, you said you don't need energies to attack. So why are you running four double colors energies? Because sometimes I can't meet this condition. Sometimes there are abilities or effects that cancel Sonic Vision. And that would be like a no-win situation. Like Wobbuffet, I instantly lose. I can't have that, okay? I don't want to be in this case where I have zero chance. 1%, that's good. So we are going to run at least some double, well, four double colors energies. I know it's not going to be efficient. Sometimes I'll be able to, I'll have to be forced to play two, but that's okay. And just one energy. Why few energies? Because I don't really need them as much. And deck space. I'm taking advantage that I don't need to draw in energies to put more reliability trainers in my deck, so sorry. So, that's the deck. Now, let's see this awesome, awesome card in auction. So, Yan Mega apparently only evolves if it knows the ancient power attack, which it learns at um, level 33. And, uh, you know, why can't you just make it, oh, I evolve at level 33 instead of Learning ancient power. What's up with that? Anyways, yeah, that's that's a bit weird in a nonsensical weird, if you know what I mean. So, welcome to another Young Mega Break match. I'm gonna play Hopes and Dreams from Undertales. And all right, let's see what we got. Escape rope. Not much I can do with that. So let's go ahead and toss that and the Verse Seeker. Yeah, and we do need the Sushi Master. So Sushi Master's up. You've got plenty of cards. I'm gonna go ahead and just judge. Do I want to play this? Uh, Sushi Master and Yan Mega. Yan Mega, make sure that next turn I'm able to attack. Hey, I watch your videos. 
Awesome, nice to meet you. And take a look. I've got nothing else that I can really play. And I'm gonna hit end of my turn. I've got Yamega. I may just need another energy to attack. And I got Sushi Master lined up. We'll see. I've got an end lined up, so. Uh-oh, it's evolve, it can paralyze me. That doesn't matter. And let's see, posting this one. You know, it's kind of weird how talking and doing this. So I'm just gonna put maybe. Maybe! And it's gonna be attack me! I think I can survive, even with the uh, 40 damage. Awesome! So, let's go ahead and evolve. I've got an N. I. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and grab out my Sushi Master, of course, because this is gonna get me more net draw. And unfortunately for Ariados, I'm grass. It can only poison the Sushi Master, so... Let's just make sure you don't go out front. I was like, of course I'm not going out front, Donald. Why would I do that? Under, uh, yeah, I know, I know, just in case. I can just go ahead and toss the sun and make sure he can attack anytime I want. So, let's go ahead and just jump this here. Am I gonna... Let's end. If he doesn't have the cards, he'll get more of this fight. It's more exciting that way, wouldn't you think? Okay, yes, of course it is gonna be. Let's go ahead and see what else we can set. Maybe we can get a break. We got Yon Mega Break. Awesome! I have all the energies. I can just go ahead and... You know, be reckless. Let's just go ahead and toss everything down, play everything, take advantage of the situation. Okay, let's go ahead and grab a Pokeball. And let's see what this Pokeball brings. If Come on, come on, Lucky Ball. I'm so lucky, everything has been heads. So, let's go ahead and grab this Yambega. And let's go ahead and toss it down. And let's go ahead and use Trainer Mail. Another Pokeball! I don't need that. And let's see if this works. Yeah, make a break. Another four cards. Ah. And now this time, Fungus would actually be good. So, we're going to use Barrier Break. Any attack would have knocked it out. And it's gone. So, that was one heck of a setup. One heck of a setup. And this item, not going to be so useful because this isn't one energy wonder. It only uses Leaf Energies. And we'll see how... Oh, see that instant setup with... Revitalizer, so he's got another Servine out, he can paralyze and that would suck, it missed. I'm lucky, I am very, very lucky, and I think he can one-shot me. No, he can't not, he can't, there's a special energy, no, he's got the Sushi Master, oh, Sushi Master. But can you retreat that? No, he's poisoned, what did I say next turn, as long as he doesn't come out, he came out. So... What an irony. What an irony. But at least this thing's gonna attack. And we got this card. Okay. Have I thrown anything in this card I need? No. Let's go ahead and sushi master. We may be able to retreat you if we pull DCE or an escape rope. I pulled neither. So let's go ahead and get yeah, make a break up. We're very set up. And hey, let's go ahead and judge. Fungus. This is not enough for me to go. I've got three Pokeballs out there. So I can't retreat, but I've gotten squad of Yamega Sand. We're gonna go ahead and take these Pokeballs back up. I can't believe I'm using Play Ball. Heads? Excellent! We'll go ahead and grab Yamega. I may be able to set up the entire line. Okay. One more. I'm expecting one more heads, one tails. That should be good. Actually, I've been getting good luck, so it should be two. Perfect. Perfect. So, let's go ahead and drop you down. Actually, I'm not gonna do that. In case... In case this guy gets knocked out, I'm gonna pull another card, and this allows me to get an attack next turn. So many Yan Vegas! Yeah! I know, man, I know. So... <sighs> Poor Sushi Master. Now, there's the escape rope I wanted. There should be another one, and there should be a DCE somewhere. Otherwise, hey, he's poisoned. He's gonna get knocked out. I'll be able to get be good. Oh, and awesome. Come on, pull me to something to retreat with. And he's looking for the same thing, too. He just needs an energy to retreat with. There we go. He's not gonna let my sushi master live, unfortunately. And we got Sceptile. Ariados is gonna go home. Oh, what a good combo. And now, I, he should use Coil. Yeah, he's going to use Coil. No, he didn't use... 
Is that Coil? Yeah, that was definitely Coil, which... He's gonna get the one shot on me. You know, let me send out this Yamega that does not have... That's tanky. And uh, probably has a better chance of survival. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put this here. I now have four cards in my hand. I don't need to do anything at all. Let's go ahead and use... Assault Boom. This does more damage anyway. So, it's got an item. It can't quite knock it out, but more damage is better, I say. And now, here we go. Coil it increases the damage to 140, so he's gonna get almost enough damage. Why almost? I didn't think this would work out, but he did use this energy. Which is from Furious Fist. You cannot use it in the next expansion. So, I survived. Awesome. And now I just need to play one card in order to make it work. So I just need to use this, and I'm good! So, we're gonna use Barrier Break. Doesn't really matter. Just need to do 10 damage. Got it! And, the prize card for me. Now, who's coming up? Sceptile! I'm already weak. He just needs one energy. Unseen Claw, gonna get it. So, I was like, oh, I'm going down. And this is exactly how I yeah, make it work. Talk. Why are you doing weird voices? Waspinator. I'm thinking of Waspinator from the old days. Oh, another revitalizer. It's coming back. Heads, he's paralyzed me. That does that's okay. I, I I'm gonna go down anyway. So just gonna get me four cards? Awesome! So I, I still need to play one card. I can drop down Sushi Master or I can play in Pokeball. That's And again? Oh, of course not. So goodbye, Sceptile. I, I, I'm sorry, goodbye. Goodbye, Yan Mega. I'm poisoned. Oh, that's gonna get me to KO. Or that's gonna knock. Well, yeah, that's gonna get him to knock out. So, oh, I I thought he would get an energy, but he didn't. I'm gonna go ahead and send this card out. It's got free free of everything. I'm will. Okay, let's go ahead and drop this down. I have four cards, don't need to do anything else. You've got no items, so I'm gonna use Barrier Break. 100 damage, and this is worth two prize cards. Awesome! We'll be closer to victory. So, I may be able to set up a new sushi, another sushi best. I don't know if I have another one in there. I wasn't paying attention. So, oh, you can burn away all the ends. I like you, and all of them are gone from his deck. So he may be in a bit of a trouble if, you know, you lose too many draw supporters. That could be... No, don't paralyze me. Do not paralyze me. I need an escape rope. Wow. Every single one of those poke powers has been tailed, so that sucks. He does not get an energy, but... He... Oh, don't... Wake up, wake up. I'm poisoned. I'm gonna go home. We got a Yon Mega Break again! So, I'm gonna save the good one. I'll just drop it back here. Poison's gone. New fresh one up. Barrier Break! Gotcha. Gotcha. Two prize cards. I think I got this. Oh, full heal, but oh, you got so many energies. But, you know, we don't need energies, I suppose. That's, that sort of sucks. Okay, here we go again. Another fight. He can't one-shot me. We're just going for the two-shot. Sycamore, he's running out of cards. We're in the single digits now. I guess, yeah, now you don't need N anymore. So, what am I going to do? Both these Yamegas can actually attack without the four-card limit at whatsoever. I'm good. I'm totally good. So, okay, Ultra Ball for what? Oh, it's gonna be... I don't know what's left in this deck. A Servine Paralysis, that... Okay. Last Paralysis. Last chance you get a Paralysis on... It finally, finally works. And I'm not gonna be able to attack, so I'm helpless. 60 damage? No, well, now we can use the Max Potion. If there's a Retreat, I would love to do that. Or maybe I can force him to draw more cards and help him deck out. Yeah, that could be a thing. Let's go ahead and do this. And I can't attack, I know. Let's try it. Let's go ahead and just play this. It worked, and there is a Sushi Bastard. Excellent. 
Okay, so I can't attack anyways. I'm gonna help him. I'm gonna force him to draw two cards. Yeah. I know I'll get less cards, but I'll get more cards with Sushi Master anyway, so it's all gonna work out. And we can arm, we can start setting up another uh, Mega. Let's go ahead and use Revitalizer. Get these two cards back. And we'll just go ahead and toss these cards down. I'm gonna go ahead and pull four more cards. What do we got? An energy. And an escape row. You know, since uh, this option happened, I'm gonna go ahead and pull them back. This is going to reset the coil effect. I don't, I'm not sure if you use coil or slashing strike, but okay. Send out a fresh one that can't go down one shot, and we're gonna use barrier break. Uh, we're gonna use barrier break. Go, y'all! Like, hang on, just one moment. I'm still alive here. Okay, and I'm gonna pull out one more prize card. Nothing. I was about to say there's nothing that can stand a chance against this card, but no, this big card has enough health. We need a Lysander or another escape rope to win. We need a Lysander because all the escape ropes have been used up. And another paralysis. This is annoying, but his, his luck has been bad. It's gonna. Oh, his luck has been bad. This is terrible. <laughs> all right, another Servine. Oh, he can retreat them. He's running out of cards, though. He may deck out. Oh, Sushi Master. Oh, you weren't going for a Sushi Master. But he's like, trying to go creepy voice for 120 damage. 120? Where'd that come from? Is that a new rule? Because he did use, maybe he did use Coil last turn. Anyways, I'll send this card out. You know, protect the, protect the really good yeah, Mega. And, well, this is gonna meet the limit so easily. So, so easily. I should have grabbed another yeah, Mega, but break. But at least I have more cards to go, so that's actually four. I'm gonna use the salt boom. More damage. Yeah. I think this is it. He can retreat. He can buy some time. And this may drag it a little bit more. I didn't want to go. I didn't want to be too risky. I have all. I'm in control. Is basically what I'm saying. So I didn't want to go and try a fish of Lysander without my remaining cards. By the way. They're all back there. It's like, yeah, now now he's hiding in the back. And Lysander, oh, You know, you still may deck out anyways. No, no, wait. If he attacks this, if he waits, he should not attack. He may buy some time. So he's going to use Coil, and that is good game. He knows it. He knows it. So I'm going to send out the healthy Omega, and this is going to be it. So... There's Lysander. You're late, man. We needed you last turn. Barrier break. GG. Nice long match against another fellow grass deck. Against another stage, well, three evolution grass Pokemon. And we were able to pull through. He was crippled someone in that he couldn't use his Aria deals. So, and without Sushi Master, he seemed to set up very well with just supporters. Yeah, and I think Sushi Master couldn't fit because it was competing with Ariados deck deck building things. So I was able to come up on top. If those paralysis were more heads than tails, I'd say I'd have a more difficult time. And he was pretty close off. He had three prize cards. So I don't know. I think it was luck. If it was, uh, if he had rolled more heads, maybe it would have been even matched. So, anyways. Yeah, that's it. So let's move on. Let's move on. Yeah, and Mega, what's so special about you, huh? Because you're just a bug Pokemon. You're not even legendary. Yet in the card game, they're giving you some really nice treatment. You know, I mean, you've got a break. Yeah, you had a prime. And that's, uh, I consider that special treatment. So anyways, yeah, what's up with that? Okay, now let's get back to the match. Welcome to another Young Mega Break match. I'm gonna play a mystery personal remix that I did last week, which you can't get yet. Sorry. All right, and wow, I end for every other end, and I'm stuck. So that was, that's.
terrible, terrible RNG, and that's like, oh, that's what you get for not telling people what your stuff is about. Okay, so, it, this is an item block deck, and we're both sharing this stadium, so it's like, yeah, I can evolve all my Pokemon, he's gonna try to item block me, I need lots of items to set up, and let's see, we got, there's the Vile Plume, I hope he doesn't set up that fast, but, I have plenty of draw supporters. No. No, it's up. Gloom and the Vile Plume is up. We could get stuck. There it is. He's going to item lock. It Now he's stuck too. That's bold. And now he... he I'm going to help him out. This is where he could be stuck. No, he's not stuck. He's item lock. He's got some damage. You know, some. Okay. I'm, I'm in trouble. Vimerate is weak to grass. It's gonna get knocked out. This thing has really low hit points, but if we can, if we can set up, if we can't set up, we may have a chance to get a comeback. So he could use B Revenge. It is gonna get the KO, and Yamega's gonna come out. That's sort of, that's not okay. We need the evolution cards and B Revenge weakness. No, no, but he's item locked. So let's go ahead and sign Yamega out and see what we can do. I can't play any items. I'm just gonna have to end because I need the full draw power. Wow, that worked. There's Sean. I can't believe it. And you screwed me up the first time, but you brought it me home. You brought it home. Now he's item locked. I can judge, I can play whatever card I want, so he's gonna have to try to set up, but this is hampering him. He's stuck! He's stuck! I think he's made himself stuck. But uh, like, yeah, that's on you, buddy. So he's gonna Sycamore. Ooh, lots of nice cards. Can you set up a Vessel Queen? I don't know. It was a Sycamore. Oh, there's another Oddish. Another one. Another one? Come on! He pulled all the cards to set up another Vile Bloom, but not a Vessel Queen. Okay, I can't attack now. Now I can! So, let's go ahead and just use Judge. Yeah, I'm gonna end up with fewer cards. He's gonna get enough the same amount, but at least I can attack. Ah, that's an item lock. Two item locks. You know, I, I've got a free pass. There's no way he can knock me out right now. So, I'm just gonna do 100 damage. Squeeze through. I can still dump a card. I can still dump Octillery. I can still dump this. I'm okay through an item lock. And he's got Vessel Queen up. He needs a DCE. How strong is this so far? Pretty strong. Three, four, five, six, seven. Can't attack me. Okay, I will need a Lysander. You know. Let's go ahead and drop you down. I don't think he has enough damage to attack me. An Assault Vest would be really good. Okay, so we're gonna use Barrier Break. I'm gonna go ahead and tag, take one of the locks down. And we still have another one up. I don't know if he'll sacrifice it. He may sacrifice it if this card is not ready, if he does not have a DCE. So, the thing is, he's spending resources in his deck to try to set it up. And he's gonna send the Vile Bloom up, okay? I don't have another card ready, but I have one shot. Pass? Okay! You think I can't at Oh. At this point, I can't attack. That's not good. I'm gonna drop this on. I'm gonna end my turn. This is bad. This is bad. Okay, now it's my turn to be stuck because getting the prize card forced me to not be able to do anything. And let me take a look at the ends. Two... The judges are left. Some of the ends are still here, so... Nope. And this is where we're gonna go into stalemate. So, I may just hold this until, you know, something shows up. Still. All right. Something has happened. He decided to AZ. He got all the cards he needed, so... And now he's undone the item lock, but he can drop all the cards down. And... He may actually have enough damage to one-shot me. So let me take a look. Five, five, no, uh, close. 
he could pull it off. I'm saying he could pull it off. This may be it. Uh oh. So now he's like, yes, item lock free. I'm gonna jump through all the hoops. And remember, A Z cannot be played next. Uh, next standard. So we'll see how this goes for now. Okay. Oh come on! How many Vesta Queens do you have left? Maybe one more. There's a comb beat. There's probably it may be stuck here, and it may just be down there. No, don't do this to me, man. Don't do this, Acro Bike. Okay, he's pulling so much. Don't lock me up. I need an N. I need something to shuffle my hand back up. He's got the float stone. This is bad. Can you knock me out, though? We'll see about this. 120. So I can still sacrifice my Sushi Master to keep it alive and make a comeback. Or I can just attack. Let's go ahead and use Barrier Break. Take this. Item Lock is in effect. You're almost gone. Even the Combi may be able to two-shot you. They've got Forest of Giant plants. I have nothing to shuffle. And he's got a free retreat and a big giant tank. Ah. Oh. So many vile blooms. He's got the energy. I believe there's a he pulled the Vessel Queen. Maybe this is another sycamore. That's I knew it. I knew it. So, item lock is up. He's got the Vessel Queen. It's got the energy. I need another Pokemon, but I'm stuck. I am stuck. This is so close to it comes out. Guys, if I don't pull, if I don't pull the right cards, I'm done. I am done. It's all up to the next draw. Yeah, I know I'm gonna get less cards, but we need to do something, anything. I have the right cards. I have been having the right cards, but I've been just the, the item lock. He's got it. <sighs> that AZ. So I'm gonna let him get the KO, but I lost this. Well, it's just nothing you can, nothing I could have done about that. So. Uh, Battle Compressor, AZ, this deck is not going to be able to stand, uh, he's going to have to redo the, this deck. I don't know if it's going to be able to withstand, like, without those cards to make it pass, but we'll see. Okay, now, if you're going to drag this out, I'm just going to cut it right here, guys. So, I'm going to concede. Oh, there it is. Be Revenge, Weakness, 320. We're both item locked. If I got that Vesta Queen, I would have had it. So. Trans. Trans. Moving on. Moving on. So. In the Pokedex, it says that Yan Mega prefers to fight its opponents by biting apart their heads. That sounds kind of, you know, a little grotesque, right? Yeah, so, as a safety measure, if you ever face a young Mega, wear a helmet. Protect your head, and you'll be okay. So, ooh, nice, young Mega. Oh, anyways, welcome to another uh, young Mega break match. I'm going to play Bad Dummy from Undertales. And we're up against a Talon Flame. Well, uh, there probably is a Talon Flame break right here, but Stage Shoot, you get it on your first turn. And he's started up with a Mill Tank, so I'm going to take 80 damage. I don't think this Remoraid will evolve to Sushi Master, so let's go ahead and reshuffle. And I do have a Yan Mega break on my first turn. And I can get four Pokemons out, four cards out pretty easily. So, I'm gonna go ahead and retreat you. We have exactly four cards, so this Mill Tank is going away. I'm gonna use Barrier Break, take out this Mill Tank before it can do any damage to me. And we're gonna go ahead and take our first prize guard. Yes, and a judge, guarantee. Guarantee that I'm able to do something uh, next turn. So, who's coming up? Probably Talonflame. Now, 
you have probably don't know, or maybe you do know what the Talon Frame Break card does. It needs two energies to attack. So far, it's at zero. So he... I think he should have sent Talon Flame for out first, because look at this attack. You get two of any cards, which could build into a lot of momentum. Now, I can't one-shot that. He is charging that up. He's trying to set up for a Talon Flame, so... Well, at least a Talon Flame Break. Okay. Bursting Balloon, he's gonna stick that on there. Ah, oh, that is annoying. There's, it's hard to find a synergy with Bursting Balloon, but... Okay, this is gonna soften me, and now... It, if he attacks with Arrow Blitz, it's not going to KO me. He is fire if he's Talon Flame Breaks, so anything's going to KO me anyway, so I don't really have to worry about that. And, alright, Ultra Ball. This is, this is looking like a Shaman. I predict the Shaman. He has beaten... Uh, hmm, that's a tough choice. No, it's not a Shaman. Okay, it's an expensive card, but it would have been perfect on here. And he's going to evolve it. Why? I'm going to KO this thing next turn. I don't... I don't know. He should have just started up with Arrow Blitz and it just attacked me. So, oh, he's got Wally. He's going to evolve it straight up, but he does no energies. Unless he's evolving this guy back here. There we go. Hey, Talon Flame Break. Flare Blitz. There's no way I can survive that. So, can you set up another Pokemon, Donald? Yeah. Oh, he's expecting me to judge. What a jerk. If I do this, this is a threat. That's not the threat, and that's gonna bomb on that. So, we're just gonna... If this, this is lucky, I've got plenty of cards to set things up. I'm gonna use, of course, Barrier Break. We're gonna get the first shot at it next turn. If he does not get energy, I'm gonna get rid of it. So, awesome! You got Diverse Seekers early, but he did not pull any draw supporters, and that's... Oh! Oh! Look at that! He got the energies! He's gonna get a prize card, and my first Yam Mega is gonna go down. Now, I desperately need one particular card to go up. And then we should, we should be in control. So, come on, Lucky Ball. Come on, Lucky Ball! Oh, come on! If this works, we're still good. We're in business. We are in business. So, I'm gonna grab Yam Mega. I already have Yam Mega break here. He discarded my stadium. So, what am I gonna do? I still can't attack and knock this out, I believe. Nope. He does not have any items. You know, I don't think I can land all the cards with just that many cards, so... I may have to sacrifice Sushi Master, boys. Let's see what else we got. We still have Sushi Master's draw. He is gonna evolve, so... Let me see, uh... I can pull... I already played an Acrobike. Okay, Acrobike may pull me something, like an Ultra Ball. Please pull me si ah, It's a Trainer Mail. That's fine, that's fine. So, Trainer Mail, two Trainer Mails. Come on, something lucky. Okay, another Lucky Ball. Y'all make a break. Y'all make a break. Y'all make a Oh! There it is. I don't know if I can actually get all the energies to attack, even though I can pull Yam Mega Break. So, we're gonna go ahead and play this. Maybe I just exactly need to draw the Yam Mega. That works. That works. Excellent! So, I'm gonna go ahead and play my Revitalizer. I got the Yam Mega. I've got the Yanma. So, when I play these cards, man, I will get four cards in my hand. And lining everything up is such a pain. But we got it. Barrier break! Smooth! Isn't that? That was so smooth! And those poor, poor lucky balls didn't work out. But hey, we can use play ball for fun! I think I can ultra ball that out and we can maybe burst out the yeah, Mega. I'm just thinking that in my mind. Okay. It's working. It's working. But play, playing that and he had from like no cards to some cards. So he's like, yeah, I can, uh, I can make a comeback. Go for it. So. Talon Flame Break. Ah, he needs some burning energies. There are probably some this deck, and ah, Mill Tank is getting rotated out. It's Flash Flyer, but I think this is gonna be a fun deck to make. And I'm, oh man, it's gonna be a tough and challenging deck to make, but it'll be fun. So he's got Talon Flame. All right. So 
One energy, attacks, get you any- Oh! He's gonna- He evolved into uh, Talon Flame Break again. Do you have a Blacksmith? He does not have a Blacksmith nor Burning- Well, that's the only way you can do it. And the Blacksmith is going away, so 40 damage. It's a Break card. It's a Fire Break card. Okay, so it did not do any... It didn't do any bonus damage. Well, no, no. I'm, I'm Lightning. I'm weak to Lightning. That's cool. So what, what what type are you anyway? Are you colorless? I, I think you're a fire. Anyways. What do we need to do? We're gonna get Yamega. We're gonna go ahead and attach this as a backup. I will discard. I don't need this. I don't need the stadium so far. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab out another Yamega. Yeah. Or I can do Fungus and do play ball. I don't know if, Yeah, that would actually be good, but. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Sorry guys, you have to see that another time. And we're gonna go ahead and play Abyssal Hand. One card. Perfect. Perfect! Let's just go ahead and do this. That's all I needed. Let's go ahead and use Barrier Break. He doesn't have any items! Yeah! 100 damage. I've got a backup. I can take care of another Talon Frame. And it's kinda scary that he's gotten two Talon Flames up pretty fast. So. There's the burning energy. Sycamore, nice. He can keep up. He's been keeping up, but the two energy per turn is kind of getting him. And I guess you can't rely on blacksmith anyway, so yeah. We'll see what we could do. Fletching's out. Okay, that, 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 that sort of sucks, but I already have another special energy card. Another double uh, colors energy. So there's no big deal. He gets to keep that, but he's running out of gas. I can feel it. I can feel it. Here we go. We're just gonna throw it, Yamega. Yeah, and now I need cards to get them out. Oh. You know what? It's probably safer if we do this. I'm gonna go ahead and try to set up another card. Uh, well, another Yamega. Yeah, I will need to go get some cards out of this card pile. So taking a look. No, I don't. I don't. Let's go ahead and play one of the play balls, guys. Just for fun. Just for kicks and giggles. Play ball. Yep, I like to get three Pokeballs exactly through. They have all failed, but we're gonna try this again to burst out another Yamega. Here we go, Tails. No! Two heads, come on. What? Come on, you can do this. Yeah. Oh, well. Finally, there's one more Yamega break. Just one. And I'm going to hold on to this card so this guarantees I am able to use Sonic Vision. Here we go. Four more cards. Not bad. I'm going to go ahead and give this to you. You do have a special energy on you. And I'm just going to use Barrier Break. There we go. Gotcha. Two shots. And man, these Talon Flame Breaks, they're just like EX cards. And five cards. I can easily dump this hand. I can play... And, and just be able to attack with no energies whatsoever. Free retreat? I'm good. All good, guys. Do you Can you set up another Talon Flame Break? I don't think so. They're all in their base form. And Talon Flake... Oh, he's got to go. He needs to buy sometime. He needs to play Sushi Master. I've got retreat covered, guys. So let's just go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and retreat. And we're gonna go ahead and... I'm not gonna end. Judge automatically. More judges. No problem attacking whatsoever. So, we're just gonna go ahead and use Barrier Break. I could have used the other attack, it doesn't matter. It pierces through everything. Revitalizer. Excellent. This guarantees a yeah, Mega Break. And I can start setting up other cards. Speaking of which, I think one of my yeah, Mega Breaks is prized. Yeah, yeah, okay, so, it's winding down, it is winding down, and so, you're a pretty strong card, but, yep, that's it, he's out of gas, he's out of steam, took care of his town flames, so, well, it went pretty well, I could set up all my Pokemon really smoothly, and... I just was able to keep attacking, able to handle everything, so I'm liking this deck, it's pretty solid. 
All right, so moving on, moving on. Roasted dragonflies. I wonder how those will actually taste. What if I can handle it? Anyways, uh, oh, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you and congratulations. So it's time we rate this deck. This deck gets a, uh, give it a 7.5, which is yeah, above average, pretty good. Why? Well, overall, I feel Yan Mega is just a mediocre average card. It wasn't quite dominating, however, it does have the speed. And I was able to set up and attack quite efficiently. So, it is an efficient average Pokemon, which is what I can say. So, luckily, I didn't go in up against cards that could just one-shot this, one-shot this. Take at least two, maybe even three hits. Some powerful Mega Pokemon. Otherwise, it would have been, you know, maybe a bit trouble setting these up over and over. Although, during the fights, I seem to be able to do it just fine, given that particular tempo. But, I felt like I was always fighting because I couldn't two-shot. Worried that I wouldn't get four cards and such. And, I guess that quite sums it up. It's an above average card with great efficiency. Okay, so what is up for next time? Well, how about another break? How about Evil Tall? It's like, uh, I know you like Xerneas better, but why don't you give me a shot? Okay, so we'll give you a shot this, uh, this Wednesday. So, I think that's it. Please like subscribe because you're gonna make more great Pokemon videos just like this and if you like any of the songs you heard most of them are on Spotify iTunes and the YouTube playlist except for the new ones I've done which I'm only gonna play you what and I'm gonna save the rest for next month so okay thank you very much integrals and the Frenchals I will see you back in my kitchen next time for evil tall break bye bye you know, maybe you should quit doing those voices. No, I like him, I like him, okay.